Devarim, Deuteronomy 31. And Moshe went and spoke at these words unto all Yasharel. And he said unto them, I am a hundred and twenty years old this day. I can no more go out and come in. Also, Yahuwah has said unto me, You shall not go over at this Yardin. Yahuwah Eloheka, he will go over before you, and he will destroy at these nations from before you, and you shall possess them. And Yahusha, he shall go over before you, as Yahuwah has said. And Yahuwah shall do unto them as he did to Sikon and to Og, kings of the Amarim, and unto the land of them whom he destroyed. And Yahuwah shall give them up before your face, that ye may do unto them according to all the commandments which I have commanded you. Be strong and of a good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For Yahuwah Eloheka, he it is that goes with you, he will not fail you nor forsake you. And Moshe called unto Yahusha, and said unto him in the sight of all, Yashara'el, Be strong and of a good courage, for you must go at with this people unto the land which Yahuwah has sworn unto their fathers to give them, and you shall cause them to inherit it. And Yahuwah, he it is that goes before you, he will be with you, he will not fail you, neither forsake you, fear not, neither be dismayed. And Moshe wrote at this Torah and delivered it unto the priests, the sons of Levi, which bore at the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah and unto all the elders of Yasharael. And Moshe commanded them, saying, At the end of every seven years, in the solemnity of the year of release, in the feast of Kukot, when all Yasharel is come to appear at before Yahuwah Eloheka, in the place which he shall choose, you shall read at this Torah, before all Yasharel in their hearing. Gather at the people together, men and women and children and your stranger that is within your gates, that they may hear and that they may learn and fear at Yahuwah Eloheikem, and guard to do all the words of this Torah, and that their children, which have not known anything, may hear and learn to fear at Yahuwah Eloheikem, as long as ye live in the land whither ye go over at the Yardin to possess it. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Behold, your days approach that you must die, Call at Yahusha and present yourselves in the tabernacle of the assembly that I may give him a charge. And Moshe and Yahusha went and presented themselves in the tabernacle of the assembly. And Yahuwah appeared in the tabernacle in a pillar of a cloud. And the pillar of the cloud stood over the door of the tabernacle. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Behold, you shall sleep with your fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring after the Elohe of the strangers of the land, whither they go to be among them, and will forsake me and break at my covenant which I have cut with them. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured and many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our Elohim is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day, for all the evils which they shall have wrought, in that they are turned unto other Elohim. Now therefore write ye at this song for you, and teach it at the children of Yashara'el. Put it in their mouths that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Yashara'el. For when I shall have brought them into the land which I swore unto their fathers, that flows with milk and honey, 
and they shall have eaten and filled themselves and waxen fat. Then will they turn unto other Elohim and serve them and provoke me and break at my covenant. And it shall come to pass when many evils and troubles have befallen them that this song shall testify against them as a witness. For it shall not be forgotten out of the mouths of their seed. For I know at their imagination which they go about, even now, before I have brought them into the land which I swore. Moshe therefore wrote at this song the same day, and taught it at the children of Yashar'el. And he gave at Yahusha the son, rather at Yahusha, the son of Nun, a charge and said, Be strong and of a good courage, for you shall bring at the children of Yashar'el into the land which I swore unto them, and I will be with you. And it came to pass when Moshe had made an end of writing at the words of this Torah in a sefer until they were finished, that Moshe commanded at the Leviim, which bore the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah, saying, Take at this sefer of the Torah and put it in the side of the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah, Elohechem, that it may be there for a witness against you. For I know at your rebellion and at your stiff neck, behold, while I am yet alive with you this day, ye have been rebellious against Yahuwah. And how much more after my death? Gather unto me at all the elders of your tribes and your officers, that I may speak these words in their ears, at and call at the heavens and at the earth to record against them. For I know that after my death ye will utterly corrupt yourselves and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you. And evil will befall you in the latter days, because you will at do evil in the sight of Yahuwah to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. And Moshe spoke in the ears of all the assembly of Yashara'el, at the words of this song until they were ended.